Today's midweek devotion about the Spirit is taken from Acts 1.8, which says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. In this passage, we learn that the Spirit was given for the express purpose of empowering believers in their witness for Jesus and His resurrection. Much too often, Christians hyper-focus on the ministry of the Holy Spirit in terms of spiritual gifts. Consequently, there often follows a parallel hyperfixation on the Holy Spirit's gift being powerfully expressed through the individual. This totally misses the point. The final word of Jesus to his disciples was that the promised power was given for the purpose of discipleship and world evangelization, not some cheap trick for self-promotion. The scope of that ministry is clearly delineated. First, Jerusalem, their immediate surrounding and local context. Secondly, Judea, the culturally similar region. Thirdly, Samaria extending cross-culturally to a similar but marginalized people. And fourthly, the ends of the earth, encompassing all people groups and ethnics worldwide, representing radically different cultures. This truth was reinforced as the church was in the midst of experiencing both growth and persecution, as we read in Acts 4.31. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit, and continue to speak the Word of God with boldness. Here we see that the believers were continuing to do what they had already been doing, witnessing boldly, even when it was unpopular and even dangerous. People need Jesus. That is why Christ followers have been empowered to proclaim the gospel through the work of the Spirit. Blessings to you in Jesus' name.